Today, we're talking about boot enchantments. Now, I recently made a video regarding helmet enchantments, so if any of these enchantments interest you, click the card above to learn more about those. No more time to waste. Let's get right into this. Starting off with one that most people do not use, let's talk about Frostwalker 2. Frostwalker 2 is really actually quite cool. This enchantment helps you walk on water, literally. I can walk across this water because my feet will turn the water into ice. Now be aware that as you walk around, you will have to walk around consistently if the light level is high, otherwise the ice will melt, but you can make it again as soon as you walk by again. Something you want to be aware of with this enchantment is if you have stagnant water farms around your base. So say a sugarcane farm that pushes water down, you got to be careful when you use this enchantment because it might turn that water into ice and break your farm. Temporarily, it can be fixed. Another cool thing about Frostwalker is you can stand on certain blocks that would usually give you damage. I'm talking magma blocks and campfires. Now, I should probably go into survival to actually show you this. Look, no damage. Isn't that awesome? So if you're building a massive pigman farm like I did in Vanix Craft Episode 2 of Season 1, then you're going to want Frostwalker 2 boots because it just makes your life a whole lot easier when you don't have to squat on these blocks. Now be aware that this does not give you fire resistance. So if I were to walk back into this lava, it's going to be a bad day. Now onto the reason that most people don't use Frostwalker 2, that's because of this enchantment, Depth Strider 3. The two are mutually exclusive, which means you can only have one or the other. Let's hop into the water real quick so I can show you just what this does. Let's start without the boots at all. Do you see how slow you swim without the boots? That should be a pretty good hint on what these things can do. So if I put these on, I will be moving significantly faster. And this is important when you face the guardians, it's important when you're crossing water. A lot of people find it more useful in more situations than the Frostwalker boots, so they opt to use this. Every level of Depth Strider reduces the amount water slows the player by one third. If you have Depth Strider 3, you will move in water just as fast as you move on land. And that's why Depth Strider 3 is so important to have. And that's why it's what I put on my boots. Moving on to one of the newest enchantments in the game, Soul Speed 3. Now we've all endured this nightmare when we're walking through a nether fortress. We want the nether warts and we're walking. Or we're just walking on the bottom of the nether and we're moving super slow. Like it's painful slow. But watch this. If you put Soul Speed 3 on your boots, you start moving like the Flash. You don't just move normal amount of speed. You're like trying out for NASCAR. You're Usain Bolt. It's insane. It's one of my favorite enchantments now. Unfortunately, Soul Speed 3 is a treasure enchantment. That means you can only acquire this particular enchantment by bartering with piglins. They may offer you enchanted boots with a random level of Soul Speed. Piglins may spawn wearing golden boots, you can kill them to get the items, or you can find them in the Bastion Remnant chests. That's the only way, you can't get them from fishing, you can't get them from the enchantment table. They're pretty special, and they're pretty awesome to have. Last, but certainly not least, is probably my most important enchantment, Feather Falling 4. Let me put my plug in here. Please subscribe if you are not already subscribed and you're enjoying the content. I would highly appreciate that. Also, drop a like down below if you want to spread this video to other people so they can learn. So I made this tower of beds. It is 70 blocks high, and this is how I'm going to show you what Feather Falling 4 can do. Now keep in mind that I have Protection 4 on the helmet and on the boots, so it's a little higher than it probably would be with just the Feather Falling enchantment. But that's what it does. It makes it so fall damage is less. This enchantment is super important, especially if you're looking at the end game and you want to fight the Ender Dragon. It will save your life, literally. And that's about all there is to it. It will help you with fall damage. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.